we go. I have a little bit of definition there, but I'm gonna fix that. Take off a lot of your water, or at least I did. Because the more water you have on your brush, the lighter it will be. Now when a light it casts a shadow like this, it's called cast shadow, I know, who'd have thunk it? Yeah, I'm being obvious. <laughs> but uh, when you cast shadows like this, they usually have a very hard edge, unless they're really far away from the object. So back here, towards the light, no, don't look at the light. Yeah, that was pathetic, I know. Back here towards the light, it's going to be a lot smoother. It's still dark, but it's nowhere near as defined. The edge is going to be a lot more diffused. Diffused is a good word. I like that word. Good word. Very good word. It might be a tad too diffused, but you get what I mean. And that's the point here. Alright, because I still don't like how that isn't dark, I'm going to take this. And I should have waited until it dried. Oh, darn. Because now it's going to be really difficult to blend in. Biggest drawback with watercolor pencil. If you were actually using regular, normal, everyday, average watercolors, you wouldn't have that problem. But there are a lot of people right now out there who are smirking at me. Well, smirk away. Every medium, uh, for those of you who don't know what a medium is, a medium is what you draw in. For every medium, there are strengths and disadvantages. All right, just a second. Our roommates, aren't they fun? Heard my roommate coming down the stairs and thought, oh crud, she's gonna wreck my recording. More. There we go, much better. Still like it a little bit more. Blended, but again, watercolor pencil, what you gonna do? Eh, so I'm a perfectionist, so what? And as you can see, we have a nice, lovely little hole there. Now I'm going to go over and do the same thing over here. I'm gonna clean out my brush first because, uh, the more you clean out your brush, the very first thing, again, the more water you have on your brush and the cleaner your brush is, the lighter your shade will be. Okay. Now, I will not claim to be the most amazing colorist, or uh, watercolorist, I guess, that you will ever meet. There are some pretty amazing people out there, and I recommend looking up a few just to see what they do. And you should be able to find a few more, a uh, few other people online, especially on YouTube. People will time-lapse their paintings and drawings, which is fabulous, but I it always bugs me when I see time-lapse, and I get why people do it, because yes, it can be boring, 
but I like seeing things in real time because it gives me an idea of how long things take, it gives me an idea of how to actually move your hand instead of just seeing some sort of vague blur that looks kind of like a flesh-colored blob. That's what it seems like to me sometimes. And I'm cleaning out my brush again because I want this over here to be a little bit lighter. There, that was much better to find. Yay! I'm still getting some lines up here, so I'm going to clean out my brush and come in and blend it all in as much as I can. It's really, really important that you do that before it dries out. There you go, and you can either, you can also bring in paper towels and do what I just did and kind of blot it out. But uh, I like putting it in. Now, again, with paper color, you're going to get some. Basically, you're going to get to a point where it bends, and as you can see, it's kind of like <laughs> this big dip right there. And uh, so, what you want to do. I've got my paper taped down. You may want to actually staple it. You can get a, a wooden board. They're cheap. They're inexpensive. I wouldn't recommend something like cardboard. But yeah, something just wooden that you can staple and then just buy a stapler and staple it down. And you've got to stretch it as tight as you can. There are actually really good stretching tutorials on DeviantArt. I highly, highly, highly recommend looking up DeviantArt. Uh, if you're under 13 though, please be very cautious because there are some people on there who are not very considerate. But those people who are, are just absolutely fabulous and incredible and amazing. And If I get some of their permission, I might give links, either in this one or later tutorials. I don't know if tutorial is a good word for it. But yeah. We're done. So, I'm going to take an eraser and erase all the lines that you need to. Now, please be very careful with the watercolor pencils because they do not erase well. Hey, my lap's beeping out on me. Sorry for that. <sighs> And you see, I didn't wait until it was completely dry. I thought it was dry, but it wasn't. How annoying. I'm going to have to go in and erase some more. And it probably won't erase because it was with water. But I hope that was helpful to some of those of you who are beginning with your art. And um, just to show you how different things, how, how light reacts to the objects. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be like your basic Art 101 class. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And so please come back. And I'm hoping that I'm going to get up a bunch of these. So let me know what you think. I'm always, again, open for critiques, feedbacks, no flaming, please. Flaming means that you're just saying it's stupid for no reason. If you do that, I'll just delete your posts. I don't really care for flaming. But if you want to tell me what you liked and what you didn't like and what you think I could do better, please have at. I love the idea and you all have a great night, day, whatever it is Then you're watching this. Yay!